I'm sorry. Oh, no. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh, no. There have been some amazing Mario 3D titles in the last 25 years. You got Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, 1 and 2, Mario 3D World, and Mario Odyssey. So when Nintendo announced that this game is coming to the Switch, I was so excited. So today I'm going to discuss whether or not this game lived up to the hype. How does it compare to the other games? And is it worth the full $60? When I first loaded up Bowser's Fury, I thought it was awesome. It moves exactly like 3D World. But it felt like you were playing Mario Odyssey because of how large the space was. It felt like a Mario Odyssey planet. I loved how big and spacious the world was. Mario 3D World has one path with a couple of secret paths, but there is no free roam in the game. Bowser's Fury gives you that ability. So when I got the first 15 stars that the game requires you to get at first, I was excited to see where the journey was going to take us next. But unfortunately, this is where I found the biggest flaw in the game. And that is that the full game takes place basically in a giant bathtub. It is a giant body of water, basically, with a bunch of platforms around it. You never get to travel anywhere like you do in the other games before it. That is what I love about the past titles, that feeling of exploration. This game lacks that. Although I was bummed to find out the game takes place in a giant sandbox type area, I can't deny that I had some fun in it. There are some really fun platforming areas in it, like the giant volcano you have to climb up, the invisible platforms that you have to discover. Much like Mario Odyssey, there are a lot of secrets hidden within this bathtub. Let's talk about Bowser. There couldn't be a better title for this game because Bowser is always pissed. Way too pissed. And he is constantly angry to the point where I started getting angry. He's just constantly mad. And there are parts in the game where Bowser just becomes really angry and releases hell on you. He makes the entire map rain fireballs. He jumps into your face and blows fire at you. Um, and he's just constantly trying to kill you. I admit, I thought it was cool for the first hour. But after a while, it just became extremely annoying. Like, chill out. This is by far the most annoying part of the game, when Bowser would rage. I did however enjoy getting the Mega Bell to fight Bowser. That was one of the best parts of the game. Also, the game is extremely short. It takes 50 stars to beat the game, but it goes by quick because you can get a lot of those stars quickly. I heard that the game takes 6 hours to beat, but I must have beaten it within like... 4 hours maybe? It was really short. There's also a 2 player mode where one player can play as Koopa and uh, that person just uh, wipes out enemies in your path. You don't get to choose where to go. You just kind of hover around Mario and uh, hit enemies. Honestly by the time I finished the game I had a headache at how aggressive Bowser was the entire time. It just got really annoying. I look at this game as if it's just one really long boss fight with Bowser because that's how aggressive he is at you the entire time. He's constantly throwing fireballs at you. Uh, blowing fire at you, just trying to give you a hard time, basically. It's just a really long boss fight. The longest Bowser fight of all time. Because Bowser just becomes really annoying in it. There are a lot of flaws in Bowser's Fury, but I will say, a lot of the stars were a blast to find in that little map. There are some amazing songs, no shocker there. Is it compared to the previous 3D Mayo titles? No. And I don't really think it's fair to compare this game to those games. This is only a 5 hour game, it's basically a 3D Mario sandbox. When Mario 3D World came out, I wasn't a big fan of it, but over the years I have played it and I have actually really appreciated it more and more for what it is. Mario 3D World is not your typical 3D Mario game. There isn't a hub world and there isn't really much free roam ability in the game. It's almost like the game is more like a 3D Mario Bros game. You go from level to level and there's not really much to explore. The levels are more simple. You basically go from point A to point B. Point A being the start, point B being the flag that you jump on at the end. I really enjoy the creative levels, amazing soundtrack, and fun platforming. In the Switch remake, you're able to play online, and well, we all know Nintendo's history with online multiplayer. Half of the games are unplayable. So I gave it a shot and I ran it with one person, and it ran pretty well for the most part. It lagged on occasion, um, but it was when we added two more players is when we started to experience lag. I don't know if that's an issue with maxing out the players in the game, or if it's more of an issue of the third and fourth player maybe had bad internet. Uh, knowing Nintendo, it's probably that those people didn't have the best internet, so it caused all of us to uh, have a hard time. Overall, the multiplayer was kind of a letdown. It can be fun if you know the people that you play with and uh, you get on the right pace with one another, uh, but playing with random people is a giant no for me. You're just gonna get some dude that wants to be the first person to cross the map and everyone else is gonna constantly turn into bubbles because they wanted that coin in the corner. So is this game worth the full $60? If you've never played 3D World, I would say yes. 3D World is an extremely fun game 
with an amazing soundtrack. However, if you've already played 3D World on the Wii U, I would definitely consider waiting for specials on this one. Or maybe just buy it online for cheaper, because Bowser's Fury is pretty lackluster. But Mario 3D World is an awesome game. What do you guys think about Bowser's Fury? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Look at these cute little cats, man. Aww, dude, someone take a picture of this. This is so wholesome, dude. Aww. Look, oh, he's purring on Mario. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die of cuteness. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry on stream, dude. Aww.